In the name of Jesus, amen. Brothers and sisters, this is a good Friday. The world doesn't get it. How can you Christians call this good? A 33-year-old Jewish man dying on a Roman cross in sheer agony. Are you crazy? How is this good? And yet it was. We know because we have, brothers and sisters, the theology of the cross that gives us eyes to see what was really going on. Martin Luther said in the Heidelberg Disputation, thesis number 20, that he is truly a theologian who comprehends the visible and manifest things of God seen through suffering and the cross. On the cross, Jesus made this day good. And that's verified through his seven last words. The first word, the first word being a prayer, a beautiful prayer. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. While we were yet sinners, God, Christ died for the ungodly. He was praying for us, that our sins would be covered forever, and we would know that. And we would know that because the mediator prayed for us, this salvation that he won applies to us. Secondly, Jesus said, I tell you the truth to the thief on the cross who reached out to him. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. He said, truly, I say, truly, truly, I say to you, this day you will be with me in paradise. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when Jesus died on that cross, he opened the way to heaven for you. And furthermore, open the way to resurrection when he comes again in glory. Thanks be to God. And thirdly, Jesus said to his mother, woman, behold your son. And to John, the disciple, behold your mother. His atoning blood covered all of our sin, making us united as the people of God. We receive the one cup that represents the unity of the church, the mystical union, Jesus with his people. We are one. We are the church. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. And fourthly, he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And in saying these words, Jesus was proving the fact that the father was accepting his sacrifice. Habakkuk 1.13 says, God's eyes are too pure to, put, to look upon evil. The father looked away from his son. Why? Because he truly took on the sins of the world, became the worst sinner the world has ever known. The father accepted that sacrifice guaranteed for you and me. And fifthly, he said, I am thirsty. Jesus wasn't just expressing the fact that he was dehydrated. No, he thirsted to do the Father's will. He thirsted to be obedient. He thirsted to see it through so that you and I would have the forgiveness of sins and everlasting life. And sixthly, Jesus said, it is finished. Testalistai, done forever. The curtain of the temple was torn in two. The old sacrifice is rendered obsolete no longer necessary, because what Jesus did was a once and for all sacrifice for all time. We have that assurance now because Jesus said it is finished. And finally, number seven, Jesus said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. In doing that, we know he is our mediator, praying for us even now, keeping us in the palm of his hand, and he has promised to never let you go. Yes, Christians, this is Good Friday. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus until he comes again in glory. Amen.